headlining together. Or go from gamer to champion gamer. Or even from wannabe chef to professional chef. Get the fastest internet in the tri-state with 99.9% .9 reliability. Combine Optimum Fiber with Optimum Mobile, voted number one in customer satisfaction, and your future is only a connection away. Sign up at Optimum.com or call 888-4-OPTIMUM today. Get closer, go farther. Wins News Time 756 now Bloomberg Money Watch. Who can forget all those Super Bowl ads for cryptocurrencies and brokers? Fortune favors so confident in that pitch for crypto.com but the way digital currencies are looking now larry david's ad might seem a little more apt it's ftx the safe and easy way to get into crypto yeah, i don't think so prices are a lot lower than they used to be and uh people might not be super happy bloomberg's emmanuel john milton says bitcoin has fallen more than 60 percent since the matt damon ad first aired other celebrity crypto endorsements have plummeted more than 95%, like Mike Tyson, non-fungible tokens, and a coin endorsed by Mark Cuban called Titan. Once again, the classic investment advice may apply. Let the buyer beware. Do your own research. That's probably the best advice. And don't just listen to someone because uh, they have a lot of Instagram followers. Bloomberg Money Watch at 26 and 56 past every hour. I'm Nathan Hager for 1010 Wins. Now, local businesses can get closer to every customer in their city with fast, affordable shipping. Introducing USPS Connect Local. You want speed? We deliver same or next day. You want savings? We give you supplies at a flat rate. You want less leg work? We do free pickups. Move your local business forward with the United States Postal Service. Let's connect at uspsconnect.com slash local. Specific markets, restrictions apply. Same day or next day delivery expected, but not guaranteed with entry close to final destination. My heart was racing just making spaghetti. I could have waited to tell my doctor, but I didn't wait. I was short of breath just reading a book. I could have delayed telling my doctor, but I didn't wait. They told their doctors and found out they had atrial fibrillation, a condition which makes it about five times more likely to have a stroke. If you have one or more of these symptoms, irregular heartbeat, heart racing, chest pain, shortness of breath, fatigue, or lightheadedness, this is no time to wait. Contact your doctor. Brought to you by Bristol Myers Squibb and Pfizer. Money is the number one cause of stress and the number two cause of divorce. Make your money go further and work harder with a certified financial planner from Facet Wealth. Financial planning used to focus on retirement but FACET helps you with today. You get a dedicated financial planner that guides you through every financial decision. Inflation, interest rates, stock market changes, home prices. How do you figure it all out? Well, every advisor at FACET is a certified financial planner and fiduciary. That's just a fancy way to say they have the best training and they're legally bound to do what's in your best interest. This isn't just about investments. It's about taking care of your money so you can start living a better life today. FACET has a simple flat fee, no hidden charges, and with nothing to sell, there are no commissions. Call 888-598-3893 for two months free off your first year of financial planning. That's 888-598-3893. 888-598-3893. Try FacetWealth.com. T-R-Y-F-A-C-E-T Wealth.com. Facet Wealth is an SEC registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities. No is an investment. We forward taxes. W-I-N-S. W-A-W-A-C-3-U-R. Always live on the free Odyssey app. We're in news time, 759. 1010 Rams Act. You rather warm, humid clouds and sun. Afternoon, evening, thunderstorm around high today 87 but with that high humidity level humidity by the way right now is at 71 percent it's gonna feel like it's in the mid 90s by the time we hit the afternoon the rest of tonight partly cloudy sticky low 76 we've got carbon copies of this forecast for the next couple of days sunday hot humid partly sunny thunderstorm high 90 real fields in the upper 90s monday looks the same tuesday kind of looks the same as well right now 77 degrees mostly sunny in new york we are going up to 87. More people get their news from 1010 Winds than from any other radio station in the nation. Bianca Trinidad is our service aide. Carol Noonan is our writer this morning. Eileen LaPalmer joining us at the editor's desk. And I'm Brian Britton. All news, all the time. This is 1010 Winds, New York. Good morning. 71 degrees at 8 o'clock on this Saturday, August 6th. I'm Kathleen Marple-Calb, and here's what's happening. 
An overnight police shooting in Queens. NYPD says men fired into a crowd in Springfield Gardens. Officers fired back. Four suspects wounded. One critically. No suspects hit. No cops hit. Still steaming. Little less hot today. No less humid. Live AccuWeather on the way. New worries about monkeypox at Rikers Island. Word that at least two corrections officers have the virus. Ready to vote. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer of New York says he wants to take up the Democrats' big economic plan today. It's a Saturday in August, so it must be Summer Street. Yep, it's going on today. Traffic in seconds. Ugly nights for Mets and Yanks. 10-10 winds AccuWeather. Partly sunny, very warm and humid. Maybe a storm late. The high 87. The AccuWeather real feel higher. Windy time, 801. Traffic and transit now. Judy Vale. And Kathleen, here's what we see on Long Island's Big 3. Crash, police investigation, southern state westbound between Nassau Road and Baldwin Road. It has all lanes closed. You're being detoured off of Nassau Road. Avoid it. Avoid that jam. Take the Meadowbrook around it. Go local. LIE, northern state, they are moving. And some good news. A crash at the Superdosha Bay Expressway, southbound 495 connector. That has been cleared out. That wreck has been towed away. Mass Transit knows Brooklyn southbound four trains are running on the local track from Atlantic Avenue and Barclay Center to Crown Heights and Utica Avenue. That's a train that's being removed with a mechanical problem at Atlantic Avenue and Barclay Center. And here's what you need to know about the bridges and tunnels. In at the George, it's 5 to 10. In the outbound, it's now 15 to 20 from the cross bunks. A lot of construction being cleared and just uh, a lot of construction as is. Inbound at the Lincoln, we're looking at 5 to 10 and outbound's the same. Inbound Holland's about 5 to 10 and so is the outbound side. Alternate side parking rules, they are in effect. you got to feed the meters so. though. Traffic and transit every 10 minutes on the lines. Breaking traffic alerts when they happen on 1010 Winds. Are you undocumented and living in fear? I'm immigration attorney Abre Barre, and I can help you get your green card and legally work in America. Call now at 646-894-5900. At 646-894-5900. <laughs> A police-involved shooting after gunfire at a party in Queens overnight. This started just after 11.30. Police say members of the violent crime squad were out at 219th Street and 130th Avenue in Springfield Gardens. They saw a crowd of people partying. And then Chief of Patrol Jeffrey Madry says some guys pulled out weapons. They were firing towards the direction of the party where we had approximately 75 to 100 people there partying. So they were basically firing into a crowd. The officers engaged the males and hit four of them. All of them were taken to the hospital. An 18-year-old is critical. The others, said to be 16, 17, and 24 years old, are expected to recover. All of them are in custody. No officers were hurt. Nobody in the crowd was said to be hit. Police say they recovered three guns. No details on charges or possible motive right now. Of course, stay with Tintin Wins at TintinWins.com for the latest on this developing story. Wins News 10. 803. Well, the steam bath continues. A little less hot today, but no less humid. Let's get the latest live with AccuWeather Meteorologist Matt Ben. Yeah, we're still dealing with the air that you can wear out there this morning, Kathleen, and that's with us for the foreseeable future, and that's what makes it feel just downright disgusting to be outside. We're into the upper 80s for this afternoon, but Patrick, the humidity, those real feels reaching the mid-90s here for this afternoon. Same story for tomorrow, maybe a degree or two warmer with high around 90, real feels in the upper 90s, and uh, rinse and repeat with this forecast. Monday still reaching around 90 degrees for that high, upper 90s for those real feel temperatures, and along with that, when you have this kind of moisture in the atmosphere, there could be a thunderstorm as well in spots, especially during the afternoon and evening. That will be the case not only for today and tomorrow, but also for Monday and Tuesday with the heat and, uh, heat and humidity continuing to at least in the middle of next week. Kathleen? Also, word from the New York Times that there are questions about the city's cooling centers. The paper quotes the city controller's report that the very areas with the highest temperatures, with less green space and smallest numbers of air-conditioned homes, are the very ones where there are few cooling centers. The report says East Flatbush, Brooklyn is the worst off, with only two centers for more than 160,000 residents. Controller Brad Lander wants the city to open more centers, extend hours at libraries and senior centers, and improve access. Of course, stay with Tenten Winds at TentenWinds.com for the latest AccuWeather updates and everything else you need to know to get through the heat. Police are asking for your help in tracking down the people responsible for robbing a guy after beating him up with something that looked like cooking pans. This happened around 2 a.m. July 21st near Ludlow and Rivington Streets in the Lower East Side. 34-year-old man got into an argument with an unknown individual. Five other people came over, and two of them apparently began beating the victim with pans. 
Then they took his cell phone and wallet, credit cards, and 200 bucks. The attackers and those who watched ran off. The victim taken to Bellevue in stable condition with head and knee injuries. The credit cards were later used for 1200 bucks worth of charges. News of the least pictures of the suspects will be up soon at 1010winds.com. And anybody with info is asked to call the NYPD at 1-800-577-TIPS. A woman was shot in the back outside the Bronx Zoo last night. We said the 55-year-old was standing on Southern Boulevard and East 187th Street near the zoo's Birds of Prey exhibit just after 5.30 p.m. when she was hit. She was taken to St. Barnabas just blocks away, said to be stable. Police are looking for two men on a passing motorcycle as possible suspects. They say it's not immediately clear if she was targeted or it was a stray bullet incident. A road rage attack on an MTA bus caught on video on Staten Island. The advance reports this happened just before 6.30 Thursday evening. A SIM 23 bus crossed the Gothels and apparently a car tried to get ahead of it. A witness tells the paper the car stopped in front of the bus. Then the driver got out and started banging on the door. Social media video shows the guy breaking a window and stabbing a tire with a pointed object. The witness said police were called in, but there was no immediate word on the arrest. AccuWeather's calling for another steamy one. It's 77 now, mostly sunny, very warm and humid for the day, and with possible storms late. AccuWeather real throws this afternoon could reach the mid-90s. Right now, 77 degrees and sunny. Coming up next, monkeypox concerns at Rikers Island. Winds new time, over 6. The IRS, the world's most aggressive collection agency. They can seize your property, bank account, and garnish your wages. They cause sleepless nights for millions of Americans. Don't be one of them. If you owe $10,000 or more to the IRS or state, get protected today. Call 800-601-8802. Coast One Tax Group. Protecting your bank, home, and your sleep since 2008. With hundreds of five-star reviews and an A-plus on the Better Business Bureau. Call Coast One Tax Group. 800-601-8802. Stanley from New York owed $93,000. The IRS placed a levy on his bank account. Coast One